369 pounds, the Heat Chris Pyro, the Highlight TV Cash, they are the Hawks! <laughs> Team number two, two by left, at a combined weight of 404 pounds, Mike Quest, Eric Corvus, the GST, the Garden State Gods! <laughs> Team number three to my left, at a combined weight of 491 pounds, first, Ricky Shane Page! The Sugar Wolf, Old One Belt, the Eskimo, Davey Vega, they are the Symbiote! And our final team in the corner to my right, hailing from Westfield, New Jersey, and New Bedford, Massachusetts, respectively, and a combined weight of 355 pounds, the hard way, Nicholas K. And the almighty, Anthony Stone. It just wouldn't be an America Rana without some type of a four-way matchup and of course a four-way winner-take-all tag team matchup and for the third year in a row that's what we got. See the total winner here with referee Dan Yost and we got us a one-ball winner-take-all four-way tag team matchup. Interesting dynamics here, Steve and Turtle Liner. We've got a bunch of guys that are separate tag teams today, but they were teaming up just two months ago in the War Games match. That is correct. Anthony Stone, of course, teaming up with Beyond, he's a Beyond Original, along with Nicholas K. And I'm shocked that they're reunited. I mean, it was just a year ago that in a Loser Leaves Town match, that Anthony Stone basically used a chainsaw and, 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 you know, almost basically said he was going to amputate part of Nicholas K. That's right, and I got the scoop backstage. From what I understand, Anthony Stone reached out to Nicholas K. He went out and found him, and he said, come back to Beyond Wrestling. As the man who banned him from Beyond Wrestling, only he had the power to bring him back. And that's what he did. And he's gonna do that back up again. Big Ricky Shane Page, big old two belt page. I know, one of them is the AIW, oh, vicious kick, absolute heavyweight AIW champion. AIW, oh, vicious kick, that's right. But he's teaming up with the absolute attempt champion, Davey Vega, more Beyond Originals. Nice arm drag. In fact, three of the teams in this match are beyond originals. The hoods are sort of, oh, vicious bulldog. A new breed, if you know what I mean. Like the right on his head. As I was trying to say earlier, Anthony Stone, I heard him quote say, I can't, I can I don't forget, but I can't forget. Eric Corbis blocked that arm drag. He had cash oh. scouted. Package knee, package pile driver to the knee, and here comes Dave Vega with a flying knee. Davey Vega only with one belt, doesn't see Nicholas K coming. So his red sash doesn't count as the second one? What's that? His red sash doesn't count as the second one? No. I guess not. It is not a championship sash. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Nicholas K going out for some sort of back body superplex. Look at this anarchy. I mean, like, these guys, look at the largest crowd in Beyond Wrestling history. They, and Ricky Shane Page is the largest man in this match. I would have to say Eric Warbus a close second. The crowd wants a chicken fight. We got a member of all four teams getting involved in a chicken fight. Oh, no. What's going on in the corners here? Oh, no. And the vicious chop the women. The hoods are on top. Oh, shit. Yow, elbow. Elbow, elbow drop. Eric Corbis is hurt. Eric Corbis is down. I don't know what's going to happen here. Right in the bush. Uh, Right in the new headband. We just saw a drive-by. 
down. Chris Pyle with the cover on Eric Boris, only two count. Remember, this is first fall wins and there are no eliminations in this matchup. That's right, that's why you want to be in the match. That's why you want to be the legal man, so that you can get the pin, so that you can win the match and take all. Exactly, and unlike what we saw earlier from our friends at Jakara, you cannot make a tag by simply leaving the ring. You must make a tag by traditional standards. That's Although, right. sometimes these matches do get out of hand, the referee, as you would know, loses control. Never. You can, as you can see, the hoods are only tagging each other in. This is on purpose. Even though they are at greater risk for fatigue, they can get the win if they are in the ring. If they're outside of the ring, like Symbian over there, you can't get the pin, you can't win. It doesn't matter how many belts you have. You gotta be in the ring to get the pin. And of course, the outlaw rule is not in effect. You cannot pin your partner to win this matchup. Is that, what does that happen? I'll tell you later on. The Balls an organization that's made a lot of money that, that we are not, but we are proud to be beyond wrestling because we are wrestling for the wrestlers and wrestling for the fans. Here comes Anthony Stone. Got kind of a leg larry in the gut. Oh, oh no. no. Hardcore Alabama Jesus. slam. Shining wizard. You guys, we are seeing this. That's what he says. He's the hardcore Jesus. And he's down for only two counts. He's not dead yet, Steven. Thank goodness. I don't want him to die. No one wants him to die. I like he's got hands of stone. Yeah. I like stone, too. This is a man. This is a man that during the old days of beyond, when they used to run out of a, of a barn in Ohio, Single-handedly, by himself, drove himself. Raised all the chickens. No, he drove him. Well, get that too, I've been told. But he drove him New Bedford, Massachusetts, oh. to that barn for an opportunity, and he has taken the most of that opportunity. And look at him now. Well, not right now. He's getting beaten up right now. But in general, wait, he's wait, a great performer. He's a great wrestler. He's a great fighter. Can he get rid of the hood? Watch out, kids! Oh. Watch out, big balls in there. As you can see, Hood's still in the ring. Hoods are not getting out of this ring. They want to win this match. And although there wasn't a time, like I said, it's referee's discretion. And there, Corbis not taking any chances. The referee wasn't going to make that count. Tony P wants to keep this match going. Doesn't want to do a count out when there's this many men involved. Despite there not being an official tag in this match, he's going to officially declare Davey Vega the legal man. I guess man. we're going with it. Hood, again, staying in. They want to be the dominant team in this match. They are omnipresent. Well, ever since, tournament for tomorrow, for even beyond that, no pun intended, they have been on a roll trying to make, make it to the stardom that they seen their fellow uh, beyond mates have made recently, in recent years. 2015, I should say, is definitely the, ah! This year beyond, look at that, as you mentioned, Parker on the tech partner. Belt. Here comes two belts, RSP, Ricky Shane Page. The AIW champion. Ah! Oh! You would not think a man of that size could do a move like that at all! Yokoza! I think we see a twist of feet. Nice singing, nice pipes. Who, him or me? <laughs> oh, yeah. And now, wait a minute, what's Ricky Shane Page going for? He's going to the top, and he's he's taking Chris Pyre with him, but what? Wait a minute, what is Davy Cash doing? Davy Cash is actually getting into the ring. Oh, wait a minute. It was only last month we saw a four-way coast-to-coast. What in the world? All right, go ahead, kill him. Ah! They had a plan all along. One bell brings up the pin. I believe we have a contender for this year's America Rana 15. This match is absolute mandemonium. This is this is where it would actually be advantageous for the hoods to get out of the ring. They've been in there for a long time. They're tired. They don't have the rest that the Garden State Gods have had in this matchup. The Garden State Gods haven't been in the ring in like six minutes. They are the improvisers of violence. They have done moves that you wouldn't think of. They know how to uh, contort the muscles, if you know what I mean. And there's the sunset lit by Stone. So much action is going on, it's hard to keep track here, but great double team move by the reunited Nicholas K and Anthony Stone. Yow. Inside out flapjack suplex. I just made that up. Double missile drop kick. Here comes Big Corp. A oh, froggy splash. This is breaking down the man above Here comes Nicholas. Here comes Mike West, I'm sorry. And now the syndicate are in the ring, or the symbiote, excuse me. What do we got here? Call back to the spirit squad. Ah! Oh! Tumble knees! And he's got the guard of St. God to the number four. Or in this case, eight. Oh. And Nicholas. Teammates two months ago, but not today. The guard of St. God's are out to win. 
I like to point out that Nicholas Cage is getting a sent on top of Dave, Davey Cash on the apron. He's now on the other side. The vicious Diver, I believe, by Chris Pyro. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Like I said, this action is so intense, it's hard to keep track. I believe the dive was by Aaron Corbis. Thank you. That's why. Thank you for correcting. I needed that. Wait, but watch this. Oh, oh no! Stone Edge was trying to go for Elijah Moon. So, but Wes Swing knocks Stone off the apron. That's the only way to point that out. They're all down. Heading down to the to the concrete floor. Yeah. David Vegas says no. What's going on here? There's oh. nowhere safe to fall. Oh, don't tell this you. This is dangerous. Not a super. Both men on the top rope. They're gonna hit the air conditioning pipes. Oh no! I think I think David Vega just hit his head on the apron. I look over. Teams are in the ring, I'm speechless, but when oh. Baby Vega somehow almost up to his feet. I thought he was dead. Baby Vega might have just hit the American Rana He looks a little shaky. He's ready. The ring stick to move 10 feet. They're heavy. Mike West gets him right in there. Corvus on the apron. Danny Vega, wait a minute, what's this? Oh no. Oh no, no, no! Get away from the the hardest part of the ring that has no give. We are improvising the violence. Quest with the cover. Two, and the victory. Back in 2009 and 2010, so thank everyone who's fucking.